In this After Effects video, we're gonna talk about creating three different types of lower thirds. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So continuing our series on like top three to five motion graphics, in this video, we're gonna specifically focus on lower thirds. So let's go ahead and dive right into number one and let's get started. For our first lower third, we're gonna talk about creating line lower thirds where you animate a line and you have it interact with your titles. Let's take a look. So here we are in After Effects and this is gonna be our first lower third. So what I wanna start off with is just having my title and subtitle and that's very easy to do. I'm using the typeface Beat Baz Nuu for my main title and my subtitle using Gotham Light. So what we're gonna do here to create a line lower third is grab the pen tool and simply what we're gonna do once we have you know our title placed in here, I want my subtitle underneath my main title. What I'm gonna do is make sure no layer is selected and I'm going to click a point, hold down shift on my keyboard, click another point to create a straight line like this, hold down shift again and we'll add a nice right angle like this. Now you'll need to click on the word fill and set it to none and click OK. And you might need to click on the word stroke and set it to solid color and click OK. So now we automatically have a line in here just like this. Now we want to animate this and make this work with our title. So what we're going to do is open up shape layer one and we're going to contents. We're going to go into the shape one. We're going to go to stroke one and where it says butt cap, I want to set this to round cap and that's just going to round out the edges ever so slightly. And now I'm going to come here to add and we're going to add trim paths and we'll come here, open up trim paths one and we'll set this end percent to zero. We'll add a keyframe for end. We'll move forward maybe by a second and a half or so. And we'll just set this to 100%. So now boom, you have a line just animating in there just like that. Of course, what you can do is make both keyframes easy, ease keyframes by hitting F9 on your keyboard. And now here is our line being animated. So now I like to animate our titles with our line, of course. What I like to do here, maybe is hit P on my keyboard for position for our shape layer, add a keyframe for this, add a keyframe forward in time, and actually just move this over to a little bit to the left or right here. And I like to just move this over all the way to, you know, past our main title. So now I'll just come in just like this. So now what we're gonna do is go to our subtitle here, hit P on our keyboard for position, we'll add a keyframe for it, we'll move it forward in time, and then we'll just do a Y animation to go above our line there and then we'll do the same thing with our main title we'll hit p on keyboard for position we'll add a keyframe there we'll actually go to the beginning of our timeline and we'll move this over here to the left so now we'll get something ridiculous like this and you know that's totally fine where we're at and of course make all your keyframes easy ease keyframes by hitting f9 on the keyboard now we're gonna grab our subtitle go to layer pre-compose and we can call it sub click ok and we'll pre-compose our main title and move forward here. Now we're gonna grab the rectangle tool, grab, make sure your main title is selected, and I'm just gonna draw a mask around our line like this. And then I'm gonna open up mask one and add a keyframe for the mask path. And I'm gonna make sure that this keyframe is at the last keyframe of the position for our line. And then I move to beginning to our timeline, and I'm going to just select mask path, and I'm gonna you know, grab the selection tool here at the top and move over the entire mask to the right and essentially I want this to follow the line so make sure this is snapped right on the line and we can come here and make these both easy ease keyframes and then for our subtitle we'll do the same thing grab the rectangle tool and just create that mask right above our line and that should be done so when it's all said and done make sure to turn on motion blur for all your layers turn on the top and after a quick render here is our motion graphic lower third and it looks really good now, of course, creating good motion graphics take a lot of time and skill. However, if you're in a time crunch or you're just learning how to do motion graphics and you need high-end graphics right now, go ahead and check our links in the video description. All the previews you're seeing right now are from VideoHive and these are pre-made After Effects templates where you can swap in your text, drag in your own images, and render out an entire After Effects project within minutes. And of course, if you just need ideas for your own projects, there are thousands of motion graphic projects out there, especially lower thirds. So if you're interested, go ahead and check our links in the video description and it'll take you right to all of these amazing lower thirds and other types of motion graphics. So that was our line lower third, and now let's talk about creating solid lower thirds. So here we are on our second lower third, and this one's gonna be about shapes, and this one's a little bit more of a stylistic design, but it doesn't really matter. So what I like to do here is grab the rectangle tool, and we'll click on the word fill and turn this to solid color, click OK. Click on the word stroke, and we'll turn that one off, and click OK. I'm just gonna draw a rectangle to cover up my title like this, and we're gonna bring it underneath our you know name title here, and I'm gonna toggle switch in the modes until you see the track map. 
and set a track map to alpha inverted map for the shape layer and this will hollow out the title that is underneath and if we want we go here to the rectangle one open a rectangle path one break the chain for size and we can just resize this as we see fit and reposition as we need to incorporating it from the side of a composition is a really nice thing to do and we can even do this again so maybe we'll create another you know solid here and you know we'll do our uh, subtitle down here put the solid underneath our main title and we can kind of just keep this on here we don't need to do an alpha mat and if we want we can come here to the fill and change this to white and maybe even change our title to uh, our primary color here okay so now that we have our two solids in place here and we're creating a nice little design we obviously need to animate everything so we can easily take our shape layer one over here which is this top part we have here on keyboard for position and we can just move this keyframe forward in time and we can just move this off to the left side of the screen and you see it'll just reveal on our main title like that no big deal nothing too over the top you make the last keyframe an easy ease keyframe and then we can grab say our shape layer 2 and our subtitle here and we can pre-compose it and we can call it sub and we can appear on keyboard for position we can do a very similar animation with um you know x positioning and make those both easy ease keyframes so you have it coming in from the left to the right and then perhaps we'll have our name title 2 come out from the bottom of this layer so we'll pre-compose that and we can call it main 2 and for my last name we can do something very similar to what we did in the first composition add a position keyframe um, moves keyframe forward in time and we, and we can have our name come underneath the subtitle here make them easy ease keyframes and we'll need to pre-compose it call it main 2 and then just grab the rectangle tool and we'll just draw out a mask like this and here's our second lower third a little bit more creative rather than your traditional lower thirds uh, but obviously this is one way you can work with shapes and you can build out any lower third from a minimal standpoint and now for our final and third lower third we're going to do something a little bit more creative and we're going to quickly create a nice creative type lower third by duplication let's jump into it so for our last technique if you want to create a very simple lower third without a lot of effort what you can do is of course grab your rectangle tool and just type out your text on top of that like we obviously have uh, down here but if you want to animate this to make it look like you did a little bit of work let me show you what we're going to do here so when you have your shape layer with your title grab both those layers and go to layer pre-compose and we'll click ok and from here what we'll do is we'll hit P on keyboard for position and we'll do a very simple lower third here move this keyframe forward in time by a second and then we can move this from the left to right like this so just move that off the composition and it'll come in boom like that now what we'll do is we'll duplicate this layer and we will move it over by one frame and we will duplicate it again and move it over by one frame and then we'll grab our bottom layer then we'll go to effect generate fill and we'll change the color to say white and click ok now we can scrub through here you can see that we have one layer that's white we can copy the fill and we'll go over to our second layer here that we offset it by one frame paste it in there and we can come here and change the color to say black now you'll have this extra buffer here to make it look like you did a little bit extra work and of course hit U to bring up your keyframes and make all the last keyframes easy ease keyframes by hitting F9 on your keyboard and then of course you can offset each of these layers, layers by one more frame if you want it to be a little bit more noticeable and very quickly you're able to duplicate your lower third and make it look like you did more work than you actually did just through some duplication in the animation now of course there are many after effect lower third templates out there but i do have one extension pack that i do want to shout out here which is toka which is 750 motion graphic elements ranging from titles shape elements like social media animations basic shapes all the way down to uh, call out titles to infographics and even devices and there's a category in here called lower thirds and simply all i have to do is find a lower third i like obviously i can preview it click on it I think there's about 30 to 40 lower thirds in this pack here and I can sync up the font that I need to use and it automatically adds the lower third into my composition and I can just reposition it double click the composition and grab our title tool and just swap out the text within just a couple of seconds and I can adjust the animation by bringing in the in and out markers 
And literally within one minute, we have our entire lower third animation that we just drag and drop from this extension, which I'll link in the video description if you want to learn more about these 750 motion graphics. But we're able to do this in one minute and save a bunch of time on our own lower third. And there's about 30 lower thirds in this pack along with, you know, 720 other motion graphic elements that you can use in any After Effects project. So if you're looking to save a ton of time on a multitude of projects, go ahead and check this out. The link's in the video description. So those are our three types of lower thirds that we created in this video. Be sure to check out our recent videos if you need more help with motion graphics and titles we've done a lot of top five top three and top four type of motion graphics out there just go ahead and check our videos and of course if you did enjoy this video be sure to subscribe to our youtube channel sunduck film we post two post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel also be sure to hit me up on my social media networks those links are in the video description and always be creating